Hey, what's up YouTube uh, Gateway? Here's the fun guide to G8, the Stage 8 Grammar Test. As you can see, we've begun with, um, on the left, what you have to know. That's taken straight from the, um, the Stage 8 language booklet on the back page. And on the right, the sample test. So let's have a look and see how we go. The first section is just simple revision of the two cases, accusative and nominative. And just to see if you're checking whether things are singular or plural, it should be pretty easy. So let's whiz through these. Here we have in the first one the bees. They're doing the looking, so they're nominative. They found many flowers, so the flowers must be accusative because the finding is happening to them. They took away the honey. That's the same. That must be accusative also. And honey is delicious. Honey is the subject of is. It's what we're talking about. So that's nominative. And we can also tell that the first two are plural and the second two are singular. So let's just really quickly fill these in. OK, I hope that's, uh, that agrees with what you thought. Um, that's the first question done. Second question uh, requires some knowledge. You have to say whether something is nominative singular or accusative singular or the two cases in the plural. And you've got four forms there. If we whiz across to the left-hand side, towards the top up here, you can see the, um, the forms for the first declension, second declension, third declension. If you know these, then this is really easy. If you don't know those, then it's hard. Let's put them in. Amicus is nominative singular. We ask that AS there is the accusative plural of the first declension. Pur re, the I there, like say we, is nominative plural. And our old friend, the M there on the end, is the accusative singular. This time the third declension. That's our second section done. And finally, some uh, fun revision of the verb forms. We've got a girl greeting, or being greeted, or uh, some slaves doing some greeting here. So we've got to work out our cases, our singulars and plurals. Um, all the forms you can see are perfect tense, they've all got the V in, so it's all simple past, so we're not looking at verbs there, we're looking at who's doing the greeting to whom. So we look across, and we might need to look at this a bit. We've got it and errand there for he and they did the carrying, and we've got the noun endings up here for um, singular, plural, and nominative and accusative. So let's have a look at these. Let's try and show you how to do these in a kind of sensible way. So, firstly, we've got three of them are they, with NT on the end, and two of them are he or she. So, let's try and do the two first of all, these two. This one, Puelam Sewa Salutawit, that's nominative, that's accusative with the M on the end, so it must be the slave greeted the girl. So, let's just whiz that one in. Um, there it is at the bottom there. The second one of those, this one here, this time the nominative is the girl, the, the girl greeted, and that's the accusative plural, so that's the girl greeted the slaves, which we can see is up there. Okay. The other three are all they greeted. This one We've got the girls are nominative, and that's the accusative singular, so the girls greeted the slave. Let's put that in. One slave there. So that's that one. This one here, we've got poor last. Now that must be accusative plural, if we remember from earlier up here, that we asked there is accusative plural. So they can't be doing any greeting. The slaves, the nominative plural, like poor re are doing the greetings. So the slaves greeted the girls, all plural there, if you note. So that must be that one. And there's one left. Okay, um, the girls, nominative this time, greeted the slaves. So let's think. Luckily we have one left that says that. The girls greeted the slaves. And there we are. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, and that you can pass the test when it's your turn.